Hello, vinyl community, and welcome, YouTubers from everywhere. I've got a little sad news to report today. One of my all-time favorite musicians and entertainers, Leon Redbone, passed away yesterday. He was only 127 years old. I ain't got no First time I remember hearing him play was at the Mariposa Folk Festival. It was, to me, the best folk festival going because it was, they put everybody out on the island. You, they drop you off on the island and just leave you there. You know, and you could take a ferry back to the mainland. And there was all this great, great music going on, and everybody was really mellow about the whole thing. In the book, uh, the festival book, like to say, so you know who everybody is, there'd be a little short bio. And Leon said that Leon Redbone is a blues singer, and he resides in Toronto because of the incident in Philadelphia. <laughs> that was his bio. And, uh, uh, I thought, I gotta go see this guy just, just for that bio. He was, uh, seemed like the reincarnation of uh, uh, Jimmy Rogers or Blind Boy Fuller. He played a lot of blues and a lot of uh, uh, Jimmy Rogers style country blues, which... Leon Redbone may not be a name that a lot of you are very familiar with or maybe even recognize at all. Some musicians, although no matter how talented, achieve modest levels of success. But one of the things about a great musician is other great musicians know who they are. They recognize them. They show their respect. They like to show up on their records, and Leon was one of those guys. He had uh, famous people often showing up in his records. Great people know who other really talented people are, and one of the things, Leon liked to wear hats. He had some nice hats. So, tip of the hat to you, Leon. Bob Dylan arrived at the Mariposa Folk Festival in a in a private launch, got out, came up to me and said, what stage is Leon Redbone at? Bob goes, where is he? And I said, who? And he said, you know. I said, Leon? And he says, he says, yeah. And I said, he went that way. So you see Bob Dylan, his wife behind him, and the children all trailing, right? And they're following Leon around this island. Later that day, Gordon Lightfoot came out. I guess we heard Dylan was there. And they got together, and the end of the afternoon, a Chris Craft is leaving the island. Everybody else takes a ferry. And it's Bob Dylan, Gordon Lightfoot, and Leon with his shades on and his cap his hat, sitting in the back of the Chris Craft smoking a cigar. Yeah. Here's a little clip from the Johnny Carson show. He appeared on a number of these kind of shows and was a fairly popular guest. On clarinet is Ken Plapowski on electric steel slide guitar, Cindy Cash Dollar, and she's one of my favorites. During this time period, she was touring with Leon. Let me put in my to reach your hand. Jenny, you got me in my home good friend. Crazy about that Jenny. Good to my work and soul. And good to my work and soul. Leon 
Dylan's first three records were on Warner Brothers music. Here is the first one on the track. 1975. I got two copies of that one. One of them a near mint jacket. A VG Plus at least. The other one a VG Plus record. His second record, which is highly acclaimed, Leon Redbone, Double Time. This Blind Blake tune is probably one of Leon's most well-known tunes and probably the most successful version of this tune and it's subsequently been covered by other people. <laughs> I went to church with my hat on seat. Then he said, I said, this show is sweet. Oh, did it, what did it? Yeah, did it, what did it? I mean, somebody tell me what did it, what did it mean? I'm on leave. I got to go. Give me that thing that you said. No, my daddy won't Here's my play copy, which is in really great condition. Here's another play copy, really great condition. Here's the new sealed copy, just in case. Wine and Boy Blues, Jolly Roll Morton. He did a number of Morton tunes. And, of course, Flynan Boy was one of Jelly Roll's nicknames. We won't get into that, though. Wine and Boy, don't deny my name. I'm the one and boy, don't you know my name, my name. One and boy, don't you know my name. Pick it up and shake it like sweet Steve and Shane. I'm the one and boy, and I don't you know my name. Here's another sealed copy, just in case. Third album on Warner Brothers, that last one was 1977. His third one, 1978, Champagne Charlie, a fairly high acclaimed record. And this is my near mint play copy. Not quite as good condition, but white label promo. His next album in 1981 from Branch to Branch on Emerald City. Still in the shrink. There's a VG Plus, you know. You can't have too many Leon Redbone records. Next record, 1985. Live, and this was live from the Lone Star Club in New York City. Double LP. Never had this record. This is thanks to our modern discogs. You can get almost everything. Of course, if you love Leon Redbone, it doesn't hurt to have a still sealed backup copy just in case. Then in 1985, the album Red to Blue, we're going to have a clip here for sure. This is one I really like. Reaching for someone and not finding anyone there. And this is a great one. It uses a little gimmickry in the mixing such that the girl singers, the Roaches, R-O-C-H-E-S, I don't know who that was, but uh, they're singing to Leon, and the uh, girls' voices are popping up all around you. I love listening to this CD in the car. And the girls were just singing all over the inside of the car. And it just shows you a little bit of the diversity and the variety that uh, Leon did. Preaching for someone and not finding anyone there. Da 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 da
these cartoony covers. There's what the record looks like. Sealed backup copy, just in case. Record I never had, and until Discogs wasn't, didn't even know existed. Christmas Island. Oh, this is great. And when I first found out about it uh, on Discogs, I ordered the CD. So this copy, which I also got from Discogs, is still sealed and uh, probably just leave it that way. His uh, next album, No Regrets, 1988, and uh, doing the research here, I hadn't noticed. No Regrets, you see here, signed copy. He didn't sign very many records. What label? New, a talent when they saw him. Oh, Sylvia over at Sugar Hill. She ain't Rose. I first got this on a CD. Very humorous lyrics. I had this in the car for a long time, and every time I played it, it just brought a smile to my face. She ain't rose, but she ain't bad. She ain't easy. But she can be had So can I When she whispers in my ear She ain't Rose She ain't bad And Rose ain't hell So now that I know that Sylvia at Sugar Hill Picked up the Leon Redbone I like this record even more His last uh, vinyl record Which was fairly hard to get Leon Redbone Sugar EU only, CD only in the U.S., of course. Thank you, Discogs. That's how I got a copy of this record from the EU. And his early stuff from the early 1970s, from 10 studio tracks and the other tracks from a live performance, in 2016, Third Man Records, they recognized talent. They put this double LP gatefold together and they did a limited edition of his first record thank you third man records now i have everything he's done on cd there's one album which is quite scarce was not even aware of till discogs i have five cds that came out after the records came out and as time went on, they got a little further and a little further apart. I hope you enjoy this uh, little reflection on Leon Redbone, one of my all-time favorites. I only ever saw Leon live once in uh, Davis, California, a college town kind of outside Sacramento. Oh, it was fantastic. Leon was a really talented person. He was an excellent guitar player. A singer, he was excellent at whistling. He could uh, croon, he could yodel, he could hum, he could scat. He had small parts in a few movies and he did a number of commercials. Way back, he did a commercial for Budweiser, commercial for a GM car, for dog food, among other things. He was in the uh, Frosty the Snowman movie where he did the Frosty the Snowman songs. He's a little bit here, there, and everywhere, and just a really talented guy. If we never meet again This side of heaven As we struggle Through this world and this world There's another By the side of the river of love. So keep them spinning, and Leon, I'll be seeing you on down the trail.